Good day, Zimbabwe. In light of the upcoming bone notes, we would like to talk about one thing. Where does a currency get its value from? We are science, economics and justice and we believe that it is important for us as ordinary Zimbabweans to discuss this basic point. So that when bone notes are issued, we understand exactly what's being forced into our pockets. So that we understand exactly what our precious US dollars that were in our bank accounts have been replaced with. So here's a, um, a list of economic in indicators that are used by economists, currency speculators and analysts to try and determine the value of an exchange rate of a particular currency. Now, as you can see, it's a very long and very boring list. But it's not necessary to remember all of the uh, economic indicators in that list. It is changes, however, in the list, changes in the indicators in the list that causes exchange rates to rise and fall. Most importantly, though, it is the extent to which all of the components of that list are working well. It, it is that which determines the degree of confidence we can have about the health of the underlying economy. And that confidence is what gives a currency its value. So, for example, if you are offered some money, but you could only receive that money in one year's time, and you are asked to choose between rec either receiving your money as, say, euros, or as North Korean won at today's exchange rates. Most people would choose to receive their money in euros rather than the North Korean currency. Now we can all come up with um, uh, debates and arguments as to why people would choose euros rather than North Korean currency, but we can summarize all of those reasons in one word which is confidence the value of a currency is all about confidence now the reserve bank of zimbabwe governor has said the bank will issue bond notes at a rate of one to one against the us dollar now we've just seen the um uh, the table showing uh, the main economic indicators which combined help to give a currency its value now, we know two things about the Zimbabwean economy. Number one, all of those indicators we've listed earlier are either very weak or non-existent. Number two, there is no confidence in the economy of Zimbabwe or indeed in the people running it. And the minute we realize that, it becomes rather obvious very, very quickly that bond notes or indeed any currency issued by the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe cannot under current economic conditions maintain a one-to-one -one exchange rate against the US dollar. It's impossible. We are science economics and justice and until Zimbabwe is free from stupid economics we will not rest. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. God bless you. Thank you.